Hey, hey, everyone. Question, question. Should this woman, she's a mother, should she go to jail because she flew her 12-year-old daughter from Texas to Georgia to have a encounter, and I don't mean, you know, just an encounter with a man that was 20 years old. This story comes from Local 12 and Lawrenceville, Georgia, and Gulf Breeze woman is charged for allegedly flying her 12-year-old daughter from Texas to Georgia for a sexual encounter with a 20-year-old man. Adrian Klein, 43, was arrested on December 14th. She's being held in Santa Rosa County Jail without bond and is pending extradition, extradition to Gwinnett County, Georgia. She is charged with, entice, um, with enticing a child for indecent purposes and child cruelty, second degree. And the man is Gazark Hoxha, 20, of Beaufort, Georgia, is in Gwinnett County Jail charged with child molestation, statutory rape, enticing a child for indecent purposes, employ, use minor to engage in, assist person in sexually explicit conduct for visual medium. Gwinnett County Police started a sexual exploitation investigation on September 7th. And it says their agency was contacted by Arlington Police Department in Texas regarding an investigation started in Texas that included incidents in Gwinnett, Gwinnett County Police said. According to police, Klein and Hoxha arranged for Klein's 12-year-old daughter to fly from Texas to Atlanta area and pay for a hotel for the girl to stay. Gwinnett County Police Detective Search Hoxha's home in Beaufort, finding large sums of cash and explicit photos of the 12-year-old girl. Investigators added that Hoxha and the victim had been messaging prior to her being flown to Georgia, some of which were sexually explicit in nature. Hoxha also faces a charge of indecency with child by sexual conduct in, tex conduct in Texas by filed by Arlington Police. Now, I asked you that question, uh, should she go to jail, the mother? And my answer, of course, is yes. I just wanted you to, you know, think about it and put your comments below in the video because, yes, she should. And we know some other parents should be in jail too, right? That should be, be, that should be prosecuted and uh, convicted, and they should be in jail, right, for their participation in what they were doing as well. And we do realize and know, most of you, what that case is about. And it was, it did come out in testimony that this is what transpired. And also on the Gail King famous uh, interview with Mr. Kelly. So yes, this woman should be in jail. And there was another story and I'm not able to locate it at this time, but there was another story that was a younger child that was younger than not, uh, 12 years old. I think the child was nine or eight or something, but it was a younger child um, that, they were doing that, you know, the mother, they were, you know, uh, you know, selling the child or, or you know, uh, getting paid for it. The mother was getting money to sell her child. And that's really, really sad. But we see these cases and we want to know why uh, with this particular case, how come they're not being prosecuted uh, for doing what they did? So anyway, uh, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, you know, liking the video, sharing the video, because I believe the algorithms, when you like the video, um, gets the, you know, gets the information out there. Um, but yes, this woman should be held accountable for what she's doing. When you exploit children, you definitely need to be held accountable. And, you know, even with that Jeffrey Epstein and the, you know, Gislaine Maxwell case, you know, when I look at the Gislaine and I look at the people that were involved in all of that, there were parents involved in that as well. And from based on the testimony of what I was reading uh, some time ago is that the parents knew, especially with one of the alleged uh, victims or the accuser, they knew. And if they couldn't get a hold, and I think it was Virginia Giffrey, if they couldn't get a hold of her, they actually contacted um, her, her parent, her mom and the boyfriend. 
And so how come they're not being prosecuted? I mean, there's a lot of scenarios that we see and we understand that, you know, you shouldn't be messing with young minor children and exploiting them and doing all type of, you know, things to them that are totally inappropriate. But at the same time, how come, how come more parents are not being held accountable for their participation uh, and their actions and behaviors when it comes down to their minor children? And that's a mystery that, you know, we need to continue to talk about because parents are responsible for the children that they, they, they bear, they bring in this world, uh, bore or bring in this world and responsible for raising them in a safe, happy, uh, you know, uh, protected environment. And when you step outside of that to do things that are, that are, uh, putting your children at risk, there should be consequences for these parents that do that. And if they prosecute one, and I know that it's case by case, but if the laws are the laws, then we need to follow the law. And it shouldn't be that it happens over here, you know, as far as prosecution or even looking into these allegations of these parents doing these things. And especially when their children tell you that the parents sold them, pushed them out there, made them dress a certain way, made them chase older men and all these type of things. Those parents do need to be held accountable and they need to be scrutinized and called in for questioning to see if charges could be uh, filed, you know, on these parents for doing those type of grievous things to their children and allowing it to happen. And when you as a parent get involved like that and allow it to happen, then you need to face those consequences also of being behind bars. Bye all.